obviously, I don't know the lad that got killed today. However, it could be someone I've seen, someone local. I pass this area on a regular basis. I live here. So I feel affected by it. And I don't know anything else to do about it. And I think this is the least that I can do. So I saw all these police vehicles, ambulances and everything come around. A black male was put on the stretcher and the ambulance to the hospital and somebody was lying on the floor. I couldn't really see the person, you know. And another person was put in the air ambulance that landed on the street and airlifted to the hospital. I know that Londoners have been through terrorism before and uh, this city has a huge resilience. What we also have is the best, the most professional security services and the best police in the world for, to protect us and they are now going to get uh, to the bottom of exactly what has happened. Where? Do you have it? The police and security service are establishing the full facts of this barbaric case, but there is a strong indication that it was an act of terrorism. The Prime Minister is returning to London tonight and will chair a further meeting of COBRA in the morning. In the meantime, security has been increased at army barracks across London. This attack was an attack on everyone in the United Kingdom and it will be condemned by people from every community. Our thoughts and prayers tonight are with the victim and his family. We have seen terrorism on the streets of Britain before, and we have always stood firm against it. Despicable acts like these will not go unpunished. <laughs>